Hi, I'm Ryan Runge with AECTEarthBlock.com. Today is a pretty big moment for uh, human civilization because we're going to test this, what's the first uh, compressed Mars block ever made um, out of this and simulated... Can you hold it, Dad? Sim, no, you can hold it later. This is made out of simulated Mars soil um, that we made last week. What we're going to do today, it made a nice block. All we had to do was put 5% moisture into it. There's actually soil on Mars with 5% moisture in it, believe it or not. So that actually simulates what could happen um, viably on Mars. Today, today we're going to pressure test it and see what it breaks at. We haven't really written the building standards for Mars yet, but here on planet Earth, uh, this needs to hit 300 PSI of pressure before breaking to meet code. We're going to take our AECT small block press and break it and we're going to read on the gauge what pressure um, it breaks at and uh, it actually is a factor of um, 0.5 we got to multiply by 0.5 what it reads on the gauge <clears throat> big moment for for human history here ready wow it actually got over 2000 which um actually translates to a thousand psi in real terms um, that's amazing so you could very viably build with this material. This is simulated, of course, but it's all the same ingredients that they have on Mars. Um, that's, a, that's a huge win for, for the CEB industry or CMB industry, as we're calling it. Um, as we continue to test some of these Mars soil simulants, um, I wanted to talk about a lesson that's applicable on Mars as well as here on Earth, uh, which is a lot of people are under the impression that more pressure is better to to make a earth block that's not always the case there's actually a range of pressures that work um, this is what happened when we tried to put 2000 psi on this mars clay simulant um, you actually caused the bonds of the the block to break it's just it's up to the properties of whatever particular soil you're using and with a clay type soil um, it's called lamination where the the block actually separates into layers as you if you push it too hard. And that's what happened when we put 2,000 PSI on this clay simulant. We went back and did another block where we only put 1,200 PSI, and we got a much better looking block. Believe it or not, this is the same soil. This just had a red, uh, these had a red residue on it from the block before it. But the structure of the block is the same. The only difference with this one was we put 1,200 PSI on it. And so you can see we didn't, we didn't break it. We can't even test these because they, they broke right into layers um, and uh, produced a structurally unsound block. So that's just a, a quick lesson um, when you're thinking about, you know, earth block construction and making, block, making your own blocks. There's a range, typically 1,200 to 2,000 PSI. A sandier, grainier, maybe a, a soil with more aggregate and less clay you might have to go up to 1900 or 2000 PSI. For a clay type soil, it, it might actually be 1000 to maybe 1400, somewhere in there that you'll make a good block. You gotta experiment with your soil and figure it out. Uh, that all being said, I'm gonna pressure test this Mars clay block. It's the first one of those we ever made. Um, first good one we ever made. And uh, I'm interested to see what what it breaks out at um, compression compression wise. So it actually went um, to over 3,000 PSI on the gauge, which translates more to like 1,500 PSI. But that's amazing. That's a, that's a great block. No cement or anything, just, just Mars uh, regular simulant that we got from um, the Exolith Labs, University of Central Florida. So that's a really great block right there. That's impressive. I'm going to try some of this, uh, one of these blocks from the Jezero Delta, 5% uh, water. Um, I'm actually going to use the one that I put less pressure on, the 1200 PSI, and see what that, that test set compressive strength wise. So it just about uh, got to 3000 PSI on the gauge before it broke, which is um, easily over a thousand, almost uh, pr probably 1200 PSI um, on the break. So 
another really good result out of this some of this Mars simulant. This one's more of a wild card. <clears throat> I took about seven parts of the, the clay, the Mars clay, and um, three parts of the sulfate base soil that really didn't do that well on its own. And I thought maybe I could dumb down the soil and or the clay in this one over here with uh, some of the graininess in this soil. So this is just kind of a, um, we're, we're playing with house money on some of this Mars soil. We found two really good ones so far, if not three. Um. Over 3,000 PSI again. This is really good stuff. So that's, that's really more like 1,200 PSI in real terms. <clears throat> Another great Mars block.